Afternoon guys, hope you're well. Same process as everyone, Max on either side. We'll set an embargo towards the end for 10.30 on this evening, sorry. Pat with Simon, please. Hi Pat. Hi. Um, could you just start by uh, talking about Rodri and the award that he won, best player in, well, best player in the world. It's, for a defensive midfield player, that is quite a, quite a feat. What can I say? So, for first, of course, congratulate him and him and all his family and dear friends. Uh, it's an incredible news for for him and, of course, for all of us, for all Manchester City, for our fans. We are so proud of him. Uh, I think it's the first time we could never imagine, uh, you know, years ago that uh, one player received this prestigious award that uh, we are so delighted to, you know, to be part of it, to share it with him. And, uh, and yes, uh, hopefully can give him this energy to recover well for next season, be with us again. Um, Manchester City were well represented last night, but Real Madrid obviously had the second and third in the list, but they weren't represented. What What do you think about that? It seems slightly odd in a team sport that you don't like. Nothing nothing to say. If they want to they wanna go, it's fine. They don't want to go, it's fine as well. So they want to congratulate, it's fine. They don't want to do it, it's fine as well. So absolutely, Manchester City, we are not here to judge what the other clubs decide what they have to do. So... Uh, I would say for us, even last season, for example, that Erling won the treble, more than 50 goals. And uh, and I said to him, just being there is, you have to be so, so happy. And I think Rodri went there all the time. I said, if you are in the first two, three or four, it's exceptional. That means you have done an incredible year and you have to be so, so satisfied. So uh, last season, Erling should have win. Yes. Uh, Messi should have win like they won. Yes. So this at the end is not important. Important is that you know represent something daily in the world football because you personally, with your mates, with your your friends, your teammates have done something really, really, really nice, nice season. And after the people will believe that maybe should win this one. It's fine, you know. Should win Vinicius maybe. <laughs> You know, but there's 100 journalists, you know. It's not a, a group of people, elite people, that decide what they have to do. It's all around the world. It's not just one country, but it's all around the world. Around the world, you know, there are different opinions. That's why football is nice, no? Everyone talking that nice. I think, I think Rodri make an incredible speech. But I think I spoke about personal, the family, and of course Man City, but especially the Spanish football. And I think it's... And I'm completely agree with him. I think Spanish football in the last decade make an incredible thing, but different national trainers with incredible players in the past with a winning the World Cup, the Euros Cup. So and never, never were able to, you know, to to win this award. And I think represent Rodri perfectly, of course, City, that we are so proud. But as well, the Spanish football, you know, because Spanish football, the influence in the world football in the last 10, 15 years have been massively important, not just winning trophies, the way they play, generations with the manager, generations with the players. And I think, you know, maybe in that time I remember one, three players from the academy from Barcelona, La Masia, we were nominated all three, you know, to win the Ballon d'Or. And Xavi Iniesta could not win because he was a monster there. And Messi, nobody could beat him. They're just Cristiano, you know, Cristiano was a monster and the father of the monster is Messi. And both you know, have done something incredible in the last 20 years, I would say, 50, 20 years. And, and maybe in that moment, Xavi and yesterday deserve it as well. So I think, I think Rodri yesterday, you know, get what the Spanish football deserve for in the world wide. Could I just ask you as well about Eric Ten Hag and the news from yesterday? You've obviously been in the same city as him for just over two years. You've clearly... Um, in the league dominated Manchester United but possibly his greatest day was against you what was your thoughts when you, you found out what happened? Well, I always um, I feel sorry for my managers you know lose his position so I'm so sorry for him I have a a good 
I think an incredible relation. I think he he represents Man United in the highest level in terms of behaviors and things. Of course, so our job, the manager, is the, one of the few jobs in in all the jobs in the world that the people is expecting to be sacked. The people is expecting you don't have job. So I don't see architects or doctors or teachers or or anything. The people desire you get out. <laughs> the only is is us. So it's our job. We have to accept it. I wish him all the best, he and his family, and of course he's going to come back stronger. And he knows, I know, everybody knows that our job depends on the results, and the results are not good enough, so always we are in the birds that stay or be sacked. So. And I'm saying that, that I'm, even myself, I'm not an exception. So if the results were not good, there is anything can can sustain it. How do you cope with that, Pep? Like your whole life is based on those results. I mean, we think back to the summer, don't we? Ten Hag, all the talk was if he didn't win the FA Cup final, he'd be sacked. He did, got a new contract, and then he, a game against West Ham, lots of missed chances, a VAR decision, and ultimately it cost him his job. Yeah. Well, if you decide to be manager or you understand that, the better don't do it. Decide to do another job. So a job, unfortunately, is simple as that, so... You have to, to 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 get results. If you are because you are handsome or because you are in good speech or you are good relation with the hierarchies, or forget about it. I have incredible relation with my hierarchy, but if you don't get results, I didn't get results, I would not be here. But this is a business. So, and when you become a manager, you have to know it. So you will start from zero, but at a certain moment, you have to take results. Otherwise, nobody nobody can 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 keep it safe. It helps that you're handsome too, though, doesn't it? Sorry? It helps that you're handsome too. I was. <laughs> <laughs> Can I ask you about when you were a player? Because obviously I know you play different roles, but you played the same role in a team as, as Rodri. Um, when you were playing uh, in some great teams with some great players, could you have imagined that a player in that position would be voted as the best player in the world? Yeah, why not? I've been central defenders. I won this award in the past. So normal is normal. Football, what is nice is the goals. Is the you know the people who win go who score goals and make an incredible talent actions. That that is normal. But you know the era from Cristiano and, and Messi. You know Messi Cristiano. You know have been unbelievable. You know how they share it well, deserve it, and they were another another level, another one. So and, and now is you know now really then everyone can can win it so and and at the end the opinion the opinion is free and that will happen when the people are allowed to vote you know you will have to accept the result it's simple sometimes it's, you like it sometimes you don't like it but it doesn't matter so tomorrow's another game another season try to do it again so the sport is is like that in sport you lose more than 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 win so and and teach you a lot that Another chance is there to try it again. And can I finish by asking about Erling? Obviously, again, he's been voted as one of the best players in the world, and yet he chose to go and go to Sweden to see one of his boyhood friends go and win the title this week. What does it say about him as With a person? Boy, sorry, went to Malmo to his friends. Friends? Yeah, he oh, okay. went to see Malmo win the the Swedish league. Okay. Uh, I just wonder what does it say about him that he wants to go and be with one of his friends, sharing their success. Obviously. At when he's one of the best players in the world, he's got plenty of other things going on, like Premier League matches and Champions League matches. And that kind of well, thing. our schedule is so tight. Uh, you know, Erling will be father soon with, uh, you know, his girlfriend Isabel. So, and we we'll have one or two days off so the people decide. So, he won last season and always sometimes I've been nominated. I went, sometimes I'm not being. So, sometimes I have games now, tomorrow. So, the schedule is so tight. So, Listen, the people is free to go and don't go. You don't gonna go, don't go. It's, you have to explain the reason why Erling didn't go, why didn't go, or the institutions didn't go. It's listen, it's no problem at all. So it's have a momo with a with a friend, decide to go there, and I'm pretty sure that Erling is really, really, really happy for Rodi. I don't have any doubts of that. Uh, on Rodri, do, do you feel part of it as well? Because you helped creating a system. Yeah, of course. Without him... me, he had no win. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Come on. 
Everybody is a sport. Is a sport. Is a, is, a, is not individual. Even individual sports, like can see tennis players or golf players need the people. So of course, Roder is not a stupid and knows that he needs this club, this organization for many things. He's made you know to to achieve it. Of course, he knows it. Especially, especially holding midfielder. But a contribution has done to the success we had not just last season with here with a. Spain winning the Euros, so have been massive. Have been without him, so we are going to we are playing. We are going to play this season without the best player nominated, the best player of the world. So the absence is really, really important, and 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 of course his contribution in our success have been have been. Everybody knows it. Come on. And like I said, after Cristiano and Messi left Europe, uh, the criteria now it. There is way more um, Open. options, yeah. yeah. And amongst that, do you understand people that feel that Vinicius should have won that? Yeah, of course. Of course, he deserves. Maybe if you should have win, would be more than well deserved. Like last season when Erling he didn't win, and he was there, he was happy, and congratulate Leo and 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 Erling had to do okay get to go to try next season if if we can be there again and i said Erling was i don't know four or five or six or seven it's really good being on the four or five best players you know in the world so that is magnificent so so yeah but we'll be open now many you know normally the teams who are going too close to win titles will be you know more chance to uh to to win for example carlo ancelotti like i congratulate Deeply for for the big success for the the best manager of the world, but it was Gasperini with Atalanta that make it incredible. This club what he has done is amazing. Or Luis de la Fuente with the manager for the Spanish team, the incredible tournament has done, winning all the games against incredible tough. Do you think they didn't deserve it? Of course they deserve it, but people vote and decide for Carlo. It's well deserved. Yeah. So it's just, you know, this event has to be a joy, you know, to make the football a better business, you know, for the people there and, and accept the results like normality. Sometimes we and sometimes don't. Nothing happened. But only I can say on behalf of Man City, because I am here, represent that club, we are all delight. We could not imagine and we are so happy that Rodri, for the first time in this club, first players won this award and and you know it's like Premier League, Champions League, like okay, the Ballon d'Or, so one player from Man City. We are so proud of that. We are really, really happy. And Spurs, how's the team looking like for, for tomorrow? Yeah, well, a uh, few players, but uh, yeah, we are going to try to, to do a good game, to try to go through. Always happen. Last season we were out against Newcastle and we played really well, so perform well. This is what I want. No injuries, please. And uh, yeah, and go to the last week of the before international break in November. <laughs>